Hi, this is Stephanie Eddy. I just wanted to give you some quick tips on doing the Spiral Nova Kit. So once you have your label on, you'll go ahead and set up your strands. And you'll want to do three rows with no beads. And you will want to leave uh, position number five open. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add those three number eight. That's a size eight seed bead. Very important that you have those on. So with number five open, I'm going to pull over number six and drop that bead down underneath the cord on number three and across to number five. My next number would be seven in succession. Drop that number eight down, lock it under there, pull it across, and number eight. So now you have three number eight beads in there and you're ready to start. Now part of this pattern is done with your beads on a bobbin and the other part is done one bead at a time. So once you have your bobbins loaded, you'll just go ahead and start. So you will be starting on position number one. Drop your bead down and pull across to number eight. Number two, bring it across. Number three, and so forth. Now if it gets out of the center, you'll want to pull it back into position to make sure it's centered in the center of your disc. And then number three is open, so my next position would have to be number four. Move my pearl down, drop it in position, pull it across. Number five, drop it down, and there we go. So we will continue all the way around until we have used up the amount of pearls, the number four millimeters that it calls for in the pattern. And then we'll start the next step. Okay, so I have uh, added all of my four millimeter beads on. If you've done any of this type of braiding before, you probably are used to preloading all of the beads ahead of time. Uh, this particular project is a combination. Um, if I have all of the same beads, I don't see any reason to not go ahead and preload them. But once I start a pattern um, where I'm using some different beads and I need one side to be flat or whatever the case may be, I add them one bead at a time just like I was doing beadwork. Um, I find that it's just as simple and easy and fast to do it that way. And it also, I don't have as many mistakes and have to take uh, my work out by making um, errors in how I'm loading my beads. So, all right, so we've gone all the way around. We've finished off our fours. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my chart that you'll have in your kit and add these beads on one at a time. What I like to do is actually set them out um, in some type of a tray so that they're in the order of my pattern. So this is uh, rows one and two uh, that I've com just combined together. When you're reading your pattern, you're going to be working left to right across the pattern. Okay. All right, so my next position open is number one. So number two then is going to be my next thread because it will move over into the gap position. So the first bead in my pattern on my chart is an R bead, stands for rondelle. So I'm going to add my R bead on. I'm going to drop it down and into position one bead at a time. Next position is three. I'll go ahead and pick up the next R bead in my pattern. And I will add it on and do the same thing. And remember you're working on the pattern left to right as you go across. So my next one is number four. And this is, like I said earlier, my first two rows of beads that are on my chart on my kit. Okay, and if they're loose, you just need to tighten them up a little bit. And always try and keep your work here in the center. So I'm just going to continue. As I work numerically, I will pick up one bead at a time. So my next one is be four. So my next stringing will be five. So this is five, six, seven. 
eight, one, two, and just start over again. You fill the entire pattern up and that will start the Spiral Nova center embellishment.